for the first time in forever. Definitely going on America's Got Talent. What is up you guys? Today is Girl Meets World Friday. Girl Meets World Fridays. Sometimes it's plural when I'm just talking about one day, but it's called Girl Meets World Friday, so sometimes it gets a little messed up, but I swear I'm good at grammar. I am wearing a Frozen shirt with Elsa and Anna on it because this video is all about Disney and Girl Meets World. It's also about Girl Meets World. I didn't just throw away Girl Meets World Fridays. It's not gone. It's not gone. It's right here. I have put so much thought into this that I should get a Nobel Prize. I mean, really, I'm just saying it's just a suggestion. If you happen to give those out, please send one my way because I really put a lot of thought into this and I hope you appreciate it and I just really, whoo. <laughs> Sometimes I talk so much that I get out of breath and it's just really a problem. But for real, I have put a lot of thought into this and I have discovered what each Girl Meets World character would be if they were a Disney character. So I've taken some of your favorite Girl Meets World characters and some of your favorite Disney characters and mashed them up like they were potatoes. Well, actually it's more like a smoothie because it's a couple different things together like blended into wine. But you technicality. Let's get started. First of all, we have the girl that's meeting the world and that's Riley. Now Riley could go a lot of different ways. She reminds me of a lot of Disney characters. I think she has traits of several of them, but I've narrowed it down to the one that I think really fits her. Anna from Frozen. Well, here's why I think Riley and Anna are very similar. They both can be a little bit clumsy sometimes and I think they both realize that they can be, but they always play it off in a really funny and adorable way. They both care so deeply for the people around them and put their trust in their friends. At a first glance, you can look at them and think, wow, they're just peppy and funny and klutzy all the time. But there is so much more to both Riley and to Anna. They are complex characters, people. I don't know how people can think Riley has no character development. That is just crazy talk and I don't want to hear it. Next we have my favorite character, Farkle. This was actually the first character that I thought of in this whole video. Farkle is 100% Hercules from Hercules. There is zero doubt about this. In Hercules, Hercules starts off as being kind of misunderstood and he can be a little like geeky, but he goes on to prove everybody wrong and become this awesome hero and he gets the girl. He just owns who he is and he goes out there and he doesn't stop until he reaches the top of what his goals are. Farkle is completely Hercules, like a hundred percent, a million bajillion percent, they are the same exact person. Lucas. Now Lucas, I have two people, well they're not exactly people, but two characters that I think he could be. Sheriff Woody from Toy Story, one, two, three, and soon to be four. <laughs> from Monsters, Inc. Ooh. <laughs> so we got Wooly and we got S Woody and Sully, not Wooly. The reason that I say Woody for Lucas is that Woody is extremely protective of his friends, just like Lucas is. Sometimes Woody doesn't make the best decisions, but it's always out of love. That is so Lucas. And the reason that I say Sully is because Sully had quite a transformation from Monsters University to Monsters, Inc. I know that like, Monsters Inc. came out before, but it's a, it's a prequel, guys. It's a prequel. He was thought of as very perfect and athletic, and I don't know. I feel like it just reminds me so much of Lucas, the way that Sully treats Boo and the way he treats Mike and just the transformation he has, the way that people change people. I don't know. <laughs> Doggy Doggy Matthews, Chip from Beauty and the Beast. Yes, that is who I have chosen. Chip wants to be older, and I think Augie kind of wants to be older. He gets married, he stays up with his dad and watches the game. He acts like he's older than he is, and Chip kind of does that too. But they're both so cute and so little, and I just love them so much, and it just want to cuddle them forever. Maya. Now, Maya actually took me a really long time to figure out, but I promise you this will make sense. Meg from Hercules. <laughs> Stop right there, people. I know what you're thinking. I am not putting Maya and Farkle together. I know I said Farkle is Hercules, but that they're, they're separate. They are separate people. I am not shipping them. Cool your jets. Now Maya is Meg because Meg is spunky and independent. She's got some nicknames for Hercules and she just, she's a very strong female character. But behind all of that, Meg is struggling with her own emotions. She went through something in the past and it kind of affects her relationships with people. And Maya definitely has that. She definitely has some things that have made her who she is and things that have really affected her. And I think that her and Meg definitely are relatable. And last but certainly not least, we have Zay. I think that this one is perfect. Mushu from Mulan. I mean guys, he is so Mushu. He is just funny and witty and quick on his feet. 
He's always there to add some great commentary. Plus, you guys have to admit, you could totally see Zay doing the part about the cow. Dishonor on you, dishonor on your cow. But in addition to all of that fast humor, he also has a lot of heart and he cares about his friends and I don't know, I just, he's so, like Zay is 100% Mushu and I think it's so perfect. I love that, I love Zay. Let me know what you guys think. You agree with me, you disagree with me, either way, we're all friends here. Let me know which Disney characters remind you of which Girl Meets World characters because I really wanna know what you guys think. I love you all, stay beautiful you people and I will see you next time, bye!